Hi, I am here jumping on with Evolve member Kristen McAvern, and she has been in the program for a few months, and I thought it'd be fun to just bring her on and talk to her a little bit about her experience so far in the program. And so we're just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Thanks, Kristen, for tuning in with me today and sharing your experience. Hi, thanks. <laughs> okay, so where, let's just talk really quick candidly about like what made you want to join Evolve. I know like at one point you had been on a coaching call with me several months before and we had like a little mini breakthrough session and then you sort of fall, started following me from then on and then I know you did some of my free trainings right so you've sort of been like behind the scenes like sort of like stalking my Instagram account or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling you out. <laughs> yeah I think actually I saw you on uh a group site and oh, I, I don't remember what it was I think but I it, that. yeah it was um it was sorry to cut you off it was I think the intentional entrepreneur was Sabrina Phillips yeah that. yes and you did like a question and I I I gave an answer and then nobody else was getting it and I was like all right I'm gonna throw out a second answer <laughs> and I I think it was for like the name of a book that you're writing or something and Anyway, you gave me the option to donate a session to someone else. And I was like, heck no, I, I definitely need that. So, oh, right. So yes. Yeah, you like, guessed it. yeah. 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 Oh, I was kind of actually having a problem because um, I was feeling like, oh God, like, am I being selfish by keeping that? Like, should I pass it on? So I went through like a little bit of turmoil and I was like, no, I need this for sure. And then I had that session with you and... I felt really connected and comfortable with you. I mean, like I didn't feel like you were judging me. And I think that's like an issue that I've had for a while, like always worried about like, oh my God, what is everybody going to think? Or are they going to think I'm crazy? <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. And then I just kind of followed you and I did, um, I did one of your free three day sessions. And that was right when you started advertising like immediately after that. I think that last day you started advertising for the Evolve group. Mm -hmm. And then you said that um, you were hesitant to join and then you eventually pulled the trigger. So can you just go into a little bit about like the thought process of like what was going on in your head? Like it was teetering you back and forth be between deciding to join. Cause I know a lot of people will be able to relate to this cause I personally have been in those sh same shoes as well, but. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm a single mom with three kids and I have had a really limited income. So I was going back and forth through, do I spend the money on myself? Like, does that make me selfish? Um, is it actually going to work? Is it, is it worth the money? And it, I think I spent probably, I think there was like a whole week. And then I probably spent the entire week going back and rereading every message that you were sending and every advertisement. And like in my gut, I knew I needed to do it, but in my head, I was still feeling like, God, like, am I taking away from the kids or can I actually do this? And so I was like kind of nervous, but then I just kept like, I just couldn't stop. I just kept looking at the emails and I kept reading everything. And I was like, I know I need to do something. And I felt really comfortable with you. Like, I just felt like, like you're straight to the point and, but you're so like kind and warm at the same time. Like you're right to the point, but you're just you're still really loving about it. Like there was just no judgment. And so I decided like, oh my God, like <laughs> it's going to run out and I'm not going to get the same deal. And she, you know, you put, you put this uh, a discount up and I was like, oh God, like, okay, like, like all these signs, like I need to do it. And so I don't remember what I canceled, but I went through my bills and I canceled just things I didn't really need and rearranged my budget. And now it's like a utility bill. I just don't even, it just comes out and I just, I think of it as like the water bill or whatever. It's just part of my monthly budget. I don't even really notice it. Right. Oh my God. I love that. So you went through and you like, that you found a way, like you just restructured, even on a tight budget as a mom of three kids and like with real world worries, right? You found a way and take, taking that step for yourself, even though like, you know, technically like you were feeling guilty and selfish to take that, 
that step, which was like a lot of what we actually ended up working on in the program, right? After you join. Right. Being able to put yeah. yourself worth it first and understand that you are worthy of these things. And um, so I love that you were proactive in taking an actionable step to restructure your, fin your finances, figure out where you were maybe like wasting some money, whether it's a cable bill or whatever, um, to make it fit. Yeah. Right. I love that. Yeah, and I, I instantly felt relief once I did it, and I was like, okay, I did it. Like, it's over. Like, I can stop agonizing and stress myself out. I'm making a decision, and I'm so glad I did it. Yay, I'm so glad you did it, too, and I think you touched <laughs> on a pretty good point because it's the hesitation leading up to, and I think even in Evolve, we touch on this. I'm getting chills right now. It's the hesitation leading up to the decision that gets us all crazy and that builds the fear and that gets us in our monkey mind constantly thinking about worst case scenarios and what if and what if it doesn't work and what if that doesn't happen and all of these scenarios which is really you know yeah so i think you touched on a good point there yeah i mean i have a little bit of a competitive nature anyway and i think one of the last emails that came through it was like kristen are you in or are you out and i was like Dang, she just called me out. Like, I have to do this. <laughs> she cannot win. There's that competitive streak in you. Okay, that's perfect. That's awesome. And so after you joined and you pulled the trigger, I like that you said that you said you felt a sense of relief. Like you your intuition was telling you yes. The fear mind was telling you all of the reasons that's not logical. You took the sacred action, which is what I call sacred actions, where you step through fear to follow an intuitive step, even though it's cloaked in fear. And the minute you do that, then you are, the release and the ease sets in. It's like right. surrendered finally. You, you've beaten the fear monster in a little baby step, but still you've taken that. You've initiated the energy that says, I'm worth more. I am demanding more for myself. I'm worthy of more. And, um, and then the sense of release sets in. So like what happened right after you joined the program, like for you? Um, I, I'm just trying to go back and remember. I know that I, I felt relief. I felt... I felt kind of proud of myself because I actually did something and then I was like really excited, like, oh my God, I'm going to like change my whole life. And so I got really excited and I just kind of dove like head first into everything, like really aggressively. <laughs> like I took, like, um, it was, it's a really important for me. I mean, I've been on like a five or six year journey that started out really slow and dealing with lots of stuff and it was like a progression I, I kept getting sick and I had tons of medical bills like the stress that I was putting the situations that I was putting myself in before evolve like I didn't even realize what I was doing and all the stress I was causing myself. And now I, when I look back, I'm like, okay, well, I get it. I understand. Now I can see like the big picture, like why I was going through all that. And so much has changed, like perception and the way that I look at everything, completely different. My kids are, I mean, it's made a huge, the kids see, they see the changes and they love it. They're open to it. My oldest daughter, you know, I have a teenage daughter and I don't have that normal teenage daughter relationship that I think most people have where the kids are, are like ignoring you. Like she like wants to talk to me and like, she kind of picks my brain and mm -hmm. yeah. The changes that I'm making are helping her make like, she is way further ahead than I ever was at her age. Mm -hmm. And just her watching me make the changes is it's pretty awesome because I'm not this, I guess I'm coaching her you're coaching me and I'm coaching her and they're watching me and I, they're so far ahead of the game. They're going to be so far ahead of all the kids that, that all their peers right now because of all the work that I'm doing. I love that, that you're, um, that they're able to notice the changes and that like, yeah, that's, 
from I'm not a parent, but to hear that from like a mother's perspective of like how much it's changing your relationship and your role and your, you, you know, your connection with your children and how that's paying forward for them and like literally helping shift a generation into a higher vibration and a higher state of consciousness, a higher state of awareness through you just being you and coming into more authentic alignment and with yourself. Right. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I, I messages to my daughter and she'll just send me back like, I love you. Like <laughs> laughing, like laughing faces. Like, I just love you, mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's great. I remember you sent something at the very beginning that you said, like it was within the first week of joining Evolve, something that was like, felt like it was, you were putting goggles on for the first time. Like these like new awareness goggles for the first time. Yeah. And actually I was thinking about that earlier. I I've gone through like, there's like a different level. Like every time that I clear something, it's like a new set of, it's like a new prescription. <laughs> like I clear something and then I'm like, Oh, I didn't see it that way. Like, Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I can see it differently. And then I get a little deeper and then I'm like, Oh wow. Like, how did I miss that? Like it was there the whole time. And then like a new prescription. Like, I think I've gone through four prescription changes since. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So it really is like peeling away a layer. And so like one thing I like to stress to people is there's a huge difference between a breakthrough and a transformation. And I talked a little bit about the anatomy of a transformation, just touched on that in Evolve, but like the, you know, like the breakthroughs that happen and then it's sort of like peeling away a layer and you come full circle in a transformation. And then there's like another layer, but it's a cycle mm -hmm. and it's a process and there's always blind spots and there's always ways, there's always a higher perception to be viewing something from. And like, what would you say? Like, I know like energetically there's been shifts, you know, like physically, like even in like tangible world, like real world shifts, like just, what would you say either emotionally, energetically, physically, you know, or in the material world? Like, what would you say some of your biggest, like, just shifts? And I know you've only been in the program a few months, but what would you say, like, how you've benefited the most? There, there's a, a lot, but I think um, my relationship with, like, some of my family members have changed where I really wanted to hang on to the anger and you know, I, I had some really deep seated anger and I was not willing to let go of it. And for some reason I felt like I had to be mad. I just needed to, but once I finally let that go, like I've seen my relationships change with the people that I was angry with where they start showing up differently, you know, and once I let go of everything. So that's made a big difference. Um, there's, there's so many things. Um, my perception, I can kind of like, like when you're in the middle of it before, like when I was in the middle of everything, like I couldn't see, like I was just like in the middle of my emotions and just angry or whatever it was I was feeling. And now I can kind of step back and, and think about it. Like, what does this mean? Like, why is this happening? And I kind of analyze it a little bit and approach things differently. There's just so many positive like I can't I mean there's you can't go back mm -hmm. now like everything's different it makes so much sense like I feel better I'm not getting sick I don't think I've been sick once since I started mm -hmm. well I just everything is changing my whole world is changing everything all these things that I wanted they're finally starting to come into play and falling together and I just being able to actually be in control of yeah. my life. Yeah. And so you're noticing that you're manifesting things on the exterior world now that are right. a reflection of the inner work that you've been doing, like tangible, right. things, like career wise or like stability or finance, mm -hmm. or things like that. Like things are up leveling. Yeah. And like, I used to question myself a lot, like, oh my God, like, I think that my gut is telling me to do this, but my head is so scrambled that I was so scared. I was so stuck in fear all the time. Like, do I do it? Is that really my gut? Like, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not really 
And and that was one of the things that I was going through when I was um, looking to start with Evolve, you know, joining Evolve. And then I finally did it. And then I felt a little bit of relief. And then I was like, okay, so I was, that was really my gut. And now I can just kind of, like a lot of the noise has stopped. Mm -hmm. All that noise of like confusion and doubting and second guessing. Mm -hmm. So it just makes it so much easier for me to make decisions and Mm -hmm just easier. Wow. Yeah. I'm just getting chills. And the reason <laughs> is that because you originally signed up for one of my free trainings called um, receive soul guidance for instant clarity, which is what led you to evolve and, right. um, and opening up to receive higher guidance in all the different synchronistic ways that we receive wisdom and guidance. Would you say that that's sort of like been amplified like your your connection with whatever your higher power is and or your your knowingness that you are guided on this path and that you are on a spiritual path and like this is I don't want to put words in your mouth but what is your experience no. of that huge it's yeah hugely like that part is is amazing I just feel like I can trust myself now like I can trust like hey okay, yeah that's like real like that's happening you know and that was something that I actually struggled with because I'm like, oh, well, people are going to think I'm weird. <laughs> people are really going to like, I was always told, you know, my great grandmother was a Native American background and she just said, you know, just, you don't talk to people about, you know, she raised on herbs and all kinds of stuff. And she just always said, you know, just don't talk to people about that stuff because they're going to think that you're crazy. <laughs> so I just always taught to, ki- to keep it to myself and, and I still pretty much, you know, I'm on my own thing. I'm doing my thing, but I'm not as concerned. And because I decided to let go, like so much is opening up and, and it's huge. like my relationship with like my, my spiritual relationship with like God and everything, every, like so much stuff is happening. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, um, because it's a very spiritually based program, it's, you know, the, the women that are attracted to it are either already stepping out of the spiritual closet or they want to, but they don't even know that that's what they want to do yet until they sort of get in here. But definitely part of the intention for me when I evolve, I mean, just the name alone, it's about our soul's evolution and bringing the spiritual aspect to the healing process, not just mentally, not just emotionally or energetically, but spiritually as well. So it's like encompassing like all areas, mindset, you know, subconscious patterns, um, spiritual laws, energy healing and things like that to really make it like full circle. So that was my intention when I, when I started the program and I'm happy to see that like, it seems to be the consensus across the board that people are opening up to their own soul wisdom, which is the whole right. Key, right? So my goal is that, that you don't need me, you know, to, to shine a light, even though I know we all have our own blind spots and I still do too, but like to make that soul connection so strong that you're able to trust and have faith in this process that no matter what happens and what's thrown your way, that you are guided and supported and can have faith. Right. In and for me, that was huge because like, I just didn't trust that I was actually, that I actually knew what was best for me. Mm-hmm. And so being able to like, just calm, you know, calm everything and be like, okay, this is, this is right. I'm going to go with it and testing it, you know, here and there. And um, now I'm like, okay, I think I'm starting to get this. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to, I don't question myself. Like it was pretty bad. Like it was like this, like two people having a conversation in my mind <laughs> before. Okay. Yeah. Like I was arguing with myself a lot. Like, no, no, that's not true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I totally can relate to that. Um, so what would you say is last piece of advice before we wrap up? Like if, if a woman is watching this and I'm getting a, obviously ready to launch Evolve 2.0, where I'm adding lots of other bells and whistles to the program, but if they they feel drawn, but they're hesitant, like what, would, what advice would you have for, for her? Do it. I would just say do it. Just jump. Just do it. It's the best thing you'll ever do for yourself. Yeah. I mean, most well-spent investment in money I've ever spent. It's so worth it. Wow. Oh my God. That gives me chills. I love it. 
I love it. Um, thank you so much for sharing your story and being vulnerable and popping up here with me online to share this. Um, for others to listen to this and hopefully maybe resonate a little bit with your story um, and maybe pull the trigger on their transformation process, you know, to really help kick it into high gear. Because like the whole point of Evolve is to really, is for rapid breakthroughs and transformations. Would you say that that's sort of like the experience? It's sort of like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom. yeah. Like it's, it's quick. Like, it's quick. And we're not messing it's around. It's quick. And it's like quick. every time I like have a breakthrough, then another one comes and then another one comes and then another one comes. And that's like, I was saying like my prescription, it's like, it's like a new prescription. Like your perception of everything changes. And literally I, I, the other day I was like, like all along, why wasn't I noticing this? Why didn't that make sense? Why wasn't it clicking before? It wasn't clicking. Oh my God, it makes so much sense now. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this just makes me so happy. Thank you very so much for coming on and sharing your story with everyone. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon.